Hey everyone, it's Vintage Vinny, and welcome to another antique store haul. Everything I'm going to be sharing with you today came from one of the peddler malls that's here in town. So I spent a grand total of $125.95 on everything you are going to be seeing today. So these are the larger items, and then we'll go ahead and check out a lot of the smaller goods afterwards. So this is awesome. This is a copper mold. Maybe I'm not far back enough, but it's a Zodiac. I've never seen that before, and I thought that that was super, super cool. I think I'm starting to collect the... Uh, the Zodiac stuff, because I've got a few, quite a few things. I got a candy dish. I have this now. Um, I have a globe with all the Zodiac signs on it. Really cool for Halloween. Um, I think that was popular in the 60s and 70s, if I'm not mistaken. Y'all can correct me if I'm wrong. I love this litho of planes in the sky with the American flag and the Capitol building down there. This has to be from about World War II era. I thought this would be great to put out at like Independence Day or maybe with some of my um, like pinup girls and such because that's when those were really popular during the war era. I just love that and I will definitely at some point be displaying that. So I couldn't leave that behind and that was 10% off. I believe the Zodiac was regular price, let me say. Yes, the Zodiac was not on sale, but it was still a fair price anyway. Then in a booth that was 75% off, I did get these really nice pieces of Stengel pottery. These are um, colonial silver, and they are marked Stengel on the bottom, hand-painted Stengel. So this one is more of like a dish, like a, forgive that, more of like a trinket dish, something you could throw your keys or loose change in. And then, okay, uh, no, okay, I just wanted to make sure it wasn't broken. And then I found this. Okay, you have got to move. It's my phone clip hitting a light bulb because I'm doing stuff down here. <laughs> Sorry. So this is more of a vase. And the, I think somebody would really like to have this for springtime. You could put this out for mid-century stuff or like if you have a mid-century home or if you just like this kind of look for farmhouse, this would be good, I think, or maybe even like shabby chic. So I'll definitely be bringing these to a sale. Uh, these were 75% off. Uh, long story short, there is a dealer at this mall, and um, he did have 50% off a lot of his stuff, um, and I'll show you all some of his other pricing um, in just a little bit here. Um, and um, he had, he's got some good stuff, y'all. 50% um, off, so that was kind of like, eh, you know, if this was 75 off, I would definitely buy more of it. Which is the case, ever since he went 75 off, I've bought a lot more from him. Um, and I spoke to the owner of the store, and I'm there all the time, so she knows who I am, and she shops at Marshall's, so we cross paths. And she told me that he's, you know, he's got some health issues, and he's looking to clear out, because I think he just has a lot of stuff at home, and he's bringing it in, and, you know, the 75% off is definitely helping move his stuff, because, like I said, when you guys see some of the prices on some of his stuff... Even at 50% off, I wouldn't have dared. 75% off made it like a reasonable price. But yeah, so I picked this up and that other piece. So those will definitely be coming to the sale tomorrow on uh, Saturday the at 6 p.m. So make sure y'all stay tuned for that. So these are great. Uh, I know you all love the old sun catchers. And when I can get them inexpensively, I will pick them up. So we've got an apple, which I think would be a great gift for a teacher. We've got what looks like a seagull on some of the um, wooden stumps, or maybe even a rock formation. This looks like a water canteen, or maybe some kind of water jug. We've got a boy fishing. Uh, we've also got this ice cream cone. We've got a cute little doggy, and then we have this Tiffany-styled shade. So I am really excited to bring these to you all because I know you guys like them. A uh, collection of them in a window would be really, really great. 
All right, we got some more fun stuff here. So this is what I mean by his pricing. First of all, I love this nautical belt buckle with the anchor on it. You guys know anchors are my thing. Uh, he had this price for $16. I would not have paid that originally. 50% um, off, I probably wouldn't have either. Uh, so I did get this for $4. So that's just a fun little item to go in my junk jar. Another thing that he did have priced at that 16 was the Scotty Dog charm, uh, also priced at 16. I got it for four. Never would I wouldn't have paid eight dollars for this. Just no way. This was not in that guy's booth. Um, he was just a piggy with a hammer. He is a salt shaker. I'll have to look him up and see if he's uh, worth anything. If not, he'll come right to the sale. He was cute. Look at this really pretty Nippon. Um, it, I don't know if it's just supposed to be like some sort of trinket dish, but it is marked Nippon on the back, as you can see right there. So that'll definitely come to the sale. That is so pretty. I know somebody out there is going to love that. I did get two of these little celluloid dogs. I thought they were cute. I can't remember how much they were. I think the tag fell off of them. Let's see. Um, okay, so those were a buck seventy-five a piece. Junk jar item. This I absolutely love, and my mom was like, "You're not allowed to sell this." It's an Art Deco geometric styled tea strainer. He had thirty-two dollars on it, um, so it was eight dollars. So I did pay up for that, but that is just awesome. Yeah, mom. There are some things that my mom is like, "No, you're not allowed to sell that." <laughs> and that's one of them. These also came from the same booth where I got the piggy shaker. These are Tom and Jerry mugs. Again, these are something my mom said that I'm not allowed to sell because she likes them. So it's not like Tom and Jerry, the mouse and cat. I think that's just got something a little bit different to it. I did pick up some more of these hanging scales. This one was uh, made by the, or it's an, L.E. Knot Apparatus, balance made by C. Forshner and Sons. This one I'm going to keep for me. I like this one, the silver. And these were both, I think, $5 a piece. Yeah, that one was 20 originally. Yeah, these were 5 bucks a piece. I love this one. And I know how much you all love your receipt spikes, so anytime I can find them reasonably priced, I'll pick them up. So, yes. There's this one booth, and it's got a mixture of, like, movie star um, photos. Some are autographed, some not. Um, and he sometimes, or she has, like, little mini tchotchkes, like this little beautiful pink bird. For really inexpensive, and he's 10% off. Or she, their booth is always 10% off. So I sometimes pick up a little tchotchke like this. Like, I couldn't leave just a cute little pink bird, especially with spring coming. Someone's going to want that. If I don't keep it, well, I'll probably sell it. Then I found this squirrel planter, which I thought was really, really cool. I have not seen this before. And look who it's made by, Nilowak Pottery. Again, that's something I've just never seen. And it's it's heavy. It's a squirrel holding a nut. Like I said, it is a planter. And I got it for a really good price. So I went ahead and picked that up. Anytime I find little pottery pieces, or just pottery in general that I really like, I will pick it up if it's inexpensive enough. And with the discount, this only came to five bucks. So it's a nice light shade of blue, and like I said, it's it's very nice. So I picked that up. This is really interesting. I have never seen this before. This is a Kevlox fastener. It looks like a store display, maybe from a hardware store or something. I almost want to say that this is for um, maybe like strapping something down on like the bed of a truck or on your um, the roof of your car. I really have no idea. I just thought it was really neat. And with the 75% off, I just could not leave that. So I was really excited to pick that up. 
And then the only other thing that I would like to share with you all from this antique store haul is this really awesome Art Deco jar. Look at the uh, skyscraper lines on there. That was only $8 after the discount. I'm not really sure what I'll put in here, but when I see really cool jars like this, I just can't leave them. So I will definitely be uh, scouring this guy's booth every time I go to the store because... He's got good stuff, and with that 75% off discount, it makes them uh, his prices better than thrift stores, in my opinion. So that is everything that I would like to share with you all. Let me know down below in the comments section what were your favorite items from this haul.